I have always been curious about how the propeller of a ship which is underwater and the propeller shaft which goes through the hull for power transmission actually achieve sealing to prevent seawater from entering the engine room. Early tail shaft sealing designs were relatively simple, using packing seals which involve pressing rings of oil-soaked asbestos or hemp rope around the shaft by adjusting the tightness of the gland to form a seal, but this has obvious drawbacks, high friction, easy wear and frequent leakage. Especially during high-speed navigation, it is harder to ensure sealing performance, so it was gradually phased out. The most commonly used stern shaft sealing structure on ships today is the lip seal. Let's take a look at how it works. A typical stern shaft sealing system usually includes the stern shaft, stern tube, sealing device, and lubrication system. The sun tube is generally welded directly to the hull, and sealing devices like lip seals are located at both ends of the stern tube, consisting of the forward seal and the aft seal. Let's focus on the forward seal. The lip seal consists of multiple rubber sealing rings arranged sequentially on the sealing housing with springs embedded inside the rings to provide continuous pressure against the shaft. Each sealing ring looks like a lip, which is where its name comes from. The space between the sealing rings is called the intermediate chamber. As shown in the diagram, there are a total of five chambers. When operating underwater, the first lip seal on the outside closely adheres to the rotating shaft, preventing seawater from entering. But facing the strong water pressure is not enough to completely stop seawater infiltration, so air pressure slightly higher than water pressure is introduced into chamber number 3, while the lubrication oil pressure levels in chambers 4 and 5 are slightly higher than the air pressure. This way, the air pressure is conducted through the second chamber to the first chamber. This pressure difference can help prevent seawater from backflowing into the sealing chamber and also helps elastically maintain the sealing ring's adhesive force, preventing loosening due to external pressure changes, ensuring long-term sealing effect the lubricating oil has three functions. First, lubrication to reduce friction between the sealing ring and the shaft, then cooling to dissipate the heat generated by the shaft's rotation. Finally, isolation using pressure differences to separate seawater from the interior environment. The second lip seal mainly prevents oil from leaking out, forming an oil seal chamber with the first one. And if a small amount of seawater and lubricating oil seeps into the third chamber, the flowing air will carry the mixed liquid away, then enter the collection cylinder for separation. You might notice a P-shaped seal in front of the first lip seal. Its main function is to prevent damage to the sealing system from fishing nets and fishing lines. Okay, this is how the tail shaft sealing system works.